Croatia has an enormous amount of absolutely amazing beaches. For a few weeks, I got the pleasure to travel around the country and explore many of them firsthand. I'm Dom from Stunning Globe and in this video we will delve into different parts of Croatia and visit some of my favorite beaches that this country has to offer. Before we jump to our first region, I want to quickly bring up an item that I consider essential for most Croatian beaches. Water shoes. The majority of beaches in Croatia are pebble beaches, varying from smaller pebbles to larger, more challenging stones, which can be quite dangerous especially when navigating underwater. Besides that, it is not uncommon to come across sea urchins, and while they are fascinating to observe, accidentally stepping on one of them is painful and might disrupt your beach plans. Trust me, as I got to experience that too. Water shoes will ensure a safe and enjoyable beach experience. And if you don't yet own a pair, there is nothing to worry about. You can also buy one in Croatia for around 10 euros. With essentials covered, we kick things off at the southern Dalmatia, where we have our first three beaches. I introduce to you one of my favorite beaches in Croatia, Pasjača beach. This unique beach is located 29 kilometers south of the historic city of Dubrovnik. What makes Pasjača beach stand out is its striking location, situated right below the massive Konavle cliffs. Getting to this beach is a bit of an adventure. You will need to navigate a narrow path that leads steeply downwards from the cliffs to the beach. Due to the challenging access, it may not be suitable for those with mobility issues or families with small children. Once you arrive, you will find that Pasiacha Beach is a serene spot free from the usual beach facilities. Simply a perfect place for those seeking tranquility and the chance to connect with nature. Banja Beach, with its pebble shore, offers a picturesque setting. The beach's waters, beautifully turquoise, create a perfect backdrop for a day under the sun. Behind the beach, you will find the beach bar, ideal for grabbing a refreshing drink or a quick snack. If you're planning to spend the day, there are sun lounge chairs available for rent at around 60 euros, which includes two beds and an umbrella. Banja Beach is quite busy during the season, attracting both locals and tourists alike. Visitors should be aware that there are no toilet facilities nearby, so plan accordingly, especially if you're spending an extended period at the beach. Belavu is another well-known beach in Dubrovnik. For thrill seekers, it offers small caves to swim into and cliffs to jump off of straight to the crystal clear water. It is less accessible for those with mobility issues, as there are quite a few steps to reach the beach. But if you can manage that, a platform with a ladder is available for easy access to the water. We proceed to central Dalmatia, where we have our next five beaches. Punta Rata is no ordinary beach. In 2004, Forbes, the renowned American magazine, featured Punta Rata among the top 10 most beautiful beaches in the world. Punta Rata is characterized by its small white pebbles, setting it apart from any typical beach. A lot of trees are dropping a much needed shadow during a hot day. There is parking available right next to the beach. It is a great place to lay down your towel, read a book or simply enjoy the beautiful surroundings. However, it's worth noting that Punta Rata can get quite crowded, so if you prefer a quieter beach experience, it might be best to visit during off-peak times. Makarska Beach is a pebble beach right in the heart of Makarska town. The beach stretches a considerable distance, offering plenty of space for a leisurely walk along the shore. And if you fancy a drink, Makarska Beach is lined with an assortment of shops, restaurants and bars, so you won't go hungry or thirsty during your visit. The beach is surrounded by numerous holiday resorts and during the peak season it becomes a hot spot for tourists. So much so that finding a spot for your towel might turn into a mini adventure. The vibrant atmosphere is quite unique, but in my personal experience the crowds at Makarska beach were a little overwhelming. Therefore the next beach is perfect for anyone who wants to escape the noise and connect with nature. Nugal beach is nestled between cliffs and forests, providing a serene environment, perfect for relaxation away from the crowds. But be prepared, as the beach is not accessible by car and it takes a 30-minute hike to reach it. You can park at the Kaufland store parking for free and then enjoy a walk through forest paths filled with outstanding views and refreshing pine smells. Just remember to wear good footwear as the path is a bit hilly. Be sure to pack some food and drinks with you. There are no shops around, but the abundance of shade provided by trees nearby makes it a perfect picnic spot. Moving on to Split, we have Bacvice beach. 
Situated right in the heart of the city, Bacuitza Beach offers a mix of urban convenience and coastal pleasure. The beach is mostly composed of concrete and rocky areas with a minor stretch of sandy terrain. Despite its urban location, the beach has clean, clear water, and if you fancy a cool drink while soaking up the sun, there is a seaside bar ready to serve you with refreshing beverages. However, it's worth noting that the beach can be a little dirty, so it might not be the best choice for those seeking excellence. Cassiuni Beach is another great beach in Split, located at the southern base of Marianne Hill. This beach is known for its large pebbles and is generally clean. There is a beach bar nearby where you can also rent some loungers. Just be prepared to pay a whopping 70 euros for the luxury of two beds and an umbrella. Getting to Cassiuni Beach might prove a bit challenging if you don't have a car. The parking spaces fill up fast, especially before the afternoon, so it's advisable to plan your visit early. But once you get there, you will find that the beach is well equipped with free showers and changing booths, making your stay comfortable and convenient. We move to the northern parts of Dalmatia, where the next three beaches await. Mala Raducha Beach is a pebble beach located right by the charming village of Primošten, offering stunning views of the area. If you're looking to relax, sunbeds are available for rent at around 5 euros per day, and after a swim, you can refuel at one of the nearby bars. One thing to note about this beach is that it gets deep rather quickly, and you must be cautious as in the deeper parts you might come across some sea urchins. The beach can also get a bit crowded, especially during peak season, so if you prefer a quieter atmosphere, you might want to visit early in the morning or late in the afternoon. Kraljicina beach is one of my favorite beaches in Croatia. It is a delightful spot situated in the town of Nin, just 17 kilometers from Zadar. This is not your typical Croatian beach. Instead of the common pebbles, you will find a long stretch of fine gravel. You can also walk quite far into the sea, making it ideal for families with kids. One of the things that makes this beach stand out is the mud bath lake, just 50 meters away from the beach. Don't miss out on the opportunity to coat yourself in the medicinal mud and let it dry in the sun. Afterward, wash it off in the sea. It's a perfect therapy, leaving your skin feeling nourished and moisturized. One thing to note, that if you decide to walk to the mud bath through the water, keep an eye out for crabs. They are harmless and will usually just try to avoid you, but it's good to be aware. The beach offers free changing booths, bathrooms and showers. You can rent a variety of water activities, and when you get hungry, there is a bar serving food. Parking is quite reasonable, with a 5 euro fee for the entire day. You will need to have cash on hand for parking and renting, but the bar accepts cards. Vechka Kula is another pebble beach that I had the pleasure of visiting. It is a unique spot with the castle tower ruins standing right by the shore, which certainly adds a special feeling to the place. The beach stretches out over a long distance, which makes it feel very spacious. You will enjoy it a lot if you are looking for a place to relax without the usual beach crowd. The water is clear and you can walk quite far into the sea. However, I spotted some sea urchins while snorkeling, so do be careful of those. Parking here is quite affordable at just 3 euros per day. There are also free showers and toilets nearby. We leave Dalmatia and head to the central Croatia. Here we have our next three beaches. Zavradnica Cove is a beautiful inlet located in the Velebit Channel in Croatia. It is a part of the Velebit Natural Park and is considered one of the most beautiful coves in the Adriatic Sea. The cove is about 900 meters long and is surrounded by high cliffs that reach up to 100 meters in height. The main standout feature is a World War II shipwreck, located right in the cove. Be sure to grab a snorkeling kit, not every day you get to explore such a piece of history. There is a 5 euro per person entry fee. The best ways to reach the cove is either to take a 10 to 15 minute hiking path from Jablanac beach or take a boat service from the town of Jablanac. Prva Draga beach is located right in the heart of Sen. By far my favorite part of it was the combination of clear waters and the view of the nearby Kirk Island. The beach is great for snorkeling, giving you a chance to explore the vibrant marine life in the clear waters. There is also a lovely bar nearby. The beach also offers a nice shade during the morning hours, and for those who need a shade later in the day, two deck chairs and an umbrella are available for a reasonable 16 euros. Note that pets are not allowed on this beach. Right on the outskirts of Istria lays Moschenichka Draga Beach. 
The beach is nestled next to a charming town where the villas provide a lovely backdrop to your day at the beach. The beach is very family friendly, ideal for families with kids to enjoy a day out in the sun. There are plenty of cafes, shops and restaurants within easy reach. Parking is conveniently located just a 3 minute walk away, costing around 1.5 euro per hour. However, keep in mind that during the peak season it can get a bit crowded. We're finishing our journey along the coast upon reaching Istria, where we will check out 5 more beaches. We start with Umbrella Beach, right in the city of Pula, a beach backed by an expansive forest. Here, the pine forest provides a natural shade throughout the day, but for those who prefer a more comfortable setup, an umbrella and two sunbeds can be rented for 30 euros. When you're ready for a break from swimming and sunbathing, there's a beach bar and restaurant nearby. A fun fact is that every year, this beach hosts the annual Pula Film Festival, an experience that attracts film lovers from all over the world. Gorda Nova Cove is a smooth pebble beach located approximately 30 minutes on foot from the heart of Pula. The beach is well known for its clear blue waters, where you will find a seafront cafe nearby, free showers and changing booths. Plenty of pine trees around will grant you lots of options for a natural shade. As there are lots of rocks around the Gorda Nova Cove, you will find numerous ladders scattered around the bay, giving you easy access in and out of water. While swimming, keep an eye for sea urchins that are often spotted in these waters. The main area of the beach can be a little dirty, which is sadly a common sight for beaches near urban areas. Emily Beach is a small artificial stretch filled with fine pebbles known as a gravel tongue. Its clean and clear water is accessible from both sides of the gravel tongue. The inner side of the beach is not deep, making it a safe and enjoyable place for families with young children. There's a cozy beach bar located right on the shore. Mulini Beach is a cozy and clean pebble beach, conveniently located just a 20 minute walk from the center of Rovinj. The beach offers several amenities, including a beach bar, showers and changing rooms, ensuring you have everything you need for a comfortable day by the sea. There is a convenient parking available right by the park, costing you 2 euros per hour. The beach equipment here is on the pricier side. A set of sun loungers starts from 90 euros. Of course, you can always opt to lay your towel on the beach. Dogs are not allowed on Mulini Beach. And lastly, there are sea urchins in the water, so you will need to be cautious of those. Just across Mulini Beach, you will find Lone Bay, which offers a serene alternative to its neighbor. The beach is enveloped by a lush park, so finding a shade is not a problem. I really enjoyed snorkeling here, as the water is extremely clear. Adding to the convenience, there is a small bar where you can grab a refreshing drink or a quick bite. If you prefer a more comfortable experience, you can also rent sunbeds. From the mainland, we jump to the Croatian islands, starting off with Tres and Kirk and their five beautiful beaches. Sveti Ivan Beach is another great beach, spacious and tranquil throughout most of the year. Reaching this beach requires a bit of an adventure. Visitors can choose to either take a boat taxi or embark on a moderately challenging hike from the Lubenica parking area. This hike takes approximately an hour one way and includes various elevations. Ensure you wear comfortable walking shoes for this hike as some parts can be steep. Despite the challenge, the journey is known to be rewarding with stunning views of the surrounding landscape. There are no shops or bars on the beach, so I advise to bring your own food and sun cover. Oprna Bay is a tranquil cove nestled among rocky hills. Getting there takes just a little effort, as you will have to park by the roadside and take on a 5 minute climb downhill with some amazing views. Note that there are no shaded areas at the beach, but for those who need that, there is an option to rent two sunbeds and an umbrella for 20 euros, payable in cash only. Golden Bay is a remarkable place renowned as one of the most beautiful beaches on the island of Kirk. This beach is unique for its clear sea and the cliff range that surrounds it. The cliffs have a distinct yellow tint that gives the impression of gold, hence the name Golden Bay. This beach is not the easiest to access. The only way to reach the secluded paradise is by boat. You can embark on this adventure from the nearby harbor, such as the Punad Harbor. Bashka Vela Beach, situated in the town of Bashka, is a long and slender stretch of Pebble Beach. 
The beach is well equipped with amenities and there are paid showers that are available upon the insert of a 50 euro cent coin. There is an array of restaurants, ice cream parlors and souvenir shops that line along the water's edge. For those looking for extra comfort, the beach offers sunbeds and umbrella for rent, priced at a reasonable 20 to 30 euros range. Due to its popularity, Bashka Vela Beach can become quite crowded during the summer season, something to consider if you prefer a quieter beach experience. Vela Luka Beach, contrary to the previous one, is a secluded haven for those seeking tranquility and an escape from the loud crowds. However, to reach it does require an effort. It is a two-hour hike one way, which can be challenging for some. Yet if you can, the journey is worth the effort as it grants you a wonderful route, great views and a rewarding beach experience. If you choose this option, make sure to pack plenty of water and food. As an alternative for those who prefer a more comfortable option, a water taxi service is available from the nearby towns and it costs around 15 euros per person. Once you've reached Vela Luca Beach, you will find a small bar and restaurant nearby. The beach's crystal clear waters are an ideal spot for snorkeling enthusiasts. On to the next two islands of Pag and Dugiotok, each providing a great beach to our list. Zrce Beach is not your typical retreat. This expansive pebble beach is renowned for its vibrant summer party scene, boasting numerous all-night discos and bars. If you're seeking a memorable night filled with pulsating music by the sea, this is your destination. Like any popular party spot, Zrce Beach has its downsides. Visitors should be aware of potential risks such as pickpockets, conflicts and broken glass. The prices here also tend to be higher than average. During the day, however, Zrca transforms into a tranquil beach. The clear waters make it a suitable choice for all, whether you're looking to sunbathe, swim or simply enjoy the serene surroundings. Sakarun Beach is a pebble beach with crystal clear water and amazing soft sand right under it. One option to get to this beach is to catch a ferry from Zadar, which costs around 75 euros. Once you arrive, you will find car parking nearby for an additional 10 euros. Sakarun Beach offers an amazing swimming experience, but sadly at the shore the sights are not as pleasant. There you might see piles of seagrass and trash. Some say that Sakarun Beach isn't as pristine as it was a few years ago, but the beauty of the water and the surrounding landscape still makes it a notable mention on our list. We finish off with our last four beaches, situated on three beautiful islands, Prach, Var and Vis. Sumartin Beach has an excellent location and it doesn't get too crowded. Free parking is available nearby as well as a lovely beach bar right by the shore. Here you can enjoy a refreshing drink while listening to the gentle lapping of the waves. Sumartin Beach lacks amenities such as toilets and changing booths, so plan your visit accordingly to ensure a comfortable and enjoyable beach day. Golden Horn Beach, known as Latni Rat, is one of the most popular beaches in Croatia, consistently finding its place among the top beaches in the world. Considered a symbol of the Adriatic, it offers a spacious pebble beach laid out on a uniquely shaped piece of land and crystal clear water, not to mention the beautiful pine forest that surrounds it. From a bird's eye view, Slatni Rat is an absolute spectacle, but to be honest, being there in person makes it feel more like a regular beach, comparable to many others in Croatia. What does set it apart from many other beaches is its comprehensive range of amenities. Bars, restaurants, sun loungers, changing rooms, you name it, they've got it. But keep in mind due to its popularity among tourists, things can be a little overpriced. Now if you're like me and want to save a few bucks, here's a tip. Instead of parking at the main parking lot right in front of the beach, park at the lot a few minutes west. It is just as convenient and a little easier on the wallet. Dubovica Beach offers an experience that is as much about the journey as it is about the destination. To reach the beach, you will need to leave your car at a small parking space from where it's a 10 to 20 minute hike downhill. The path is semi-easy, but it would be a good idea to swap your flip-flops for a pair of comfortable shoes. As you reach the beach, you will find a wonderful clear water and a serene shoreline. Along the shore, there is a small cash-only tavern that stands as a beach bar and restaurant. Last but not least on our list, Stiniva Cove. This small yet captivating beach is renowned for its crystal clear waters and the unique atmosphere created by the surrounding cliffs. To reach this secluded spot, you will have to take a 20 minute hike downhill. This is not your typical beach walk, so ensure you are wearing a pair of sturdy shoes. My advice is to visit Stiniva Cove early in the morning. You will have the place mostly to yourself, 
which allows you to experience the beach's real charm before it gets busier as the day progresses. And there you have it! I hope this list comes in handy, regardless of which part of Croatia you choose to visit. Now that you have learned about the beaches, check out my next video where I present my 20 best places to visit in Croatia.